Ah, my old room. What great memories. The old hand-me-down computer desk that proudly displayed an old habit of mine, and that had little to no cable management. It was good while it lasted, but things don't always last forever. What's going on guys, Tactical Bacon here, and welcome to the Room Tour version 2.0. Um, I have upgraded my room quite a bit, well not actually upgraded, but <laughs> done quite a few things to it, um, and that's what I'm pretty much going to be showing you in this video. I thought I'd start first with the dirtiest portion. Uh, there's just a bunch of random shit over here, loose chain, shit like that. First aid kit, you never know when you're going to need some first aid, and also a drill. Uh, also going to be apologizing for the shoddy camera work as well. Uh, moving on, uh, every gamer essential item to have in their room, a mini fridge, or at least I think so. Uh, there's some plastic spoons and shit up there, and I keep this fridge stocked, or mostly stocked, uh, most of the time with like Gatorades or uh, Lipton tea. You see some ketchup and mustard right there, just in case I want to eat some ketchup and mustard. Uh, going on to the, or moving on rather, to the posters, uh, big Star Wars fan, I got the original Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back poster, also this really, really awesome Captain America poster, let me get a little better shot on it here, uh, but yeah, this awesome Captain America poster, I found this on allposters.com, and obviously, I mean, look at it, it's fucking amazing, it's Captain America storming the beaches with a bunch of World War II soldiers. Uh, obviously my monkey and my reefer madness poster. Yes, I know my reefer madness poster is lower than the other ones. I'm probably gonna lower the other ones at some point in the future. Um, moving on. Hey, look at that. I've actually got curtains now. Uh, if you remember in the, uh, previous room tour, I just had a bunch of fucking sheets over my windows blocking out the light and it looked quite ghetto. Uh, but now we're gonna go ahead and, uh, move on to the pop vinyls. I got have my uh, pop vinyls now proudly displayed on a proper shelf hanging on the wall there. Um, I have quite a few. These are all my Marvel characters. I have some other ones that I'll be showing you later on in the video. Uh, the shelf is not too high off my new desk. There's my clock that I fucking hate because it's like an hour and a half fast right now. I gotta fix that. Um, obviously my yellow rose poster has pretty much stayed in the same position. And this is my new poster over here. This is my uh, Nuka-Cola Fallout Nuka Cola poster. I really, really like this poster. Um, moving on, I did not have a TV in my last setup. This is a 40 inch Samsung Smart TV. Uh, Storm got knocked over here. Um, these are the rest of the Marvel Bobble uh, ugh, Marvel Bobbleheads that I was not able to fit up on the shelf. I'm gonna have another shelf once I get more of them. But uh, down here, you can see I've got proudly displayed a few graphic novels of mine or that I really enjoy Civil War Flashpoint Superman Red Sun and Kingdom Come Kingdom Come has probably got some of the best artwork I've ever seen uh, moving on to the desk though I got an L-shaped desk now and uh, as you can see there I got a Lipton T uh, before I move on to the desk I'm gonna show you quickly my tablet this is a Galaxy Tab A I think something like that uh, here's my two monitors right here. Yes, the Galaxy Tab had a Volkswagen, uh, logo on it. This is my new keyboard, uh, the CM Storm keyboard and mouse, I believe it's the CM Storm Enforcer keyboard and mouse combo. Uh, wanted to do this because it kind of matched the color scheme a lot more as opposed to the Razer and Logitech. Also, there's my little vape thing. Uh, I vape now instead of smoking, so that was the old habit that I kicked was smoking. Uh, here's my computer right here, <coughs> excuse me, here's my computer right here, and uh, it's quite nicely set up on this desk, I think. Uh, I like having the window pointed out to where I can kind of just look inside of it and admire all the components and everything, but that's basically the entertainment and the, uh, or the entertainment center and the L-shaped desk, rather. Um, Quickly, I just want to show off the amazing cable management I was able to pull off. Obviously, I can't hide that power strip very well. Uh, I could probably tuck it back there, though. Uh, you see some scuffs on the wall, but really not a big deal. And honestly, what setup would be complete without the fucking LED lights? Um, I got these LED lights off of Amazon, and you can control the colors. You can control, I think, like... 
different modes where it can fade in and out. Uh, I'm just going through some of the colors right now for you. Obviously, red, green, and blue. And you can change. I think they're, they, they get brighter as they go further down the controller and everything. But I mostly just leave it on red because that is what matches. Uh, so all in all, I have done quite a big uh, overhaul with my room, so to speak. Like I said, if you guys remember it, it looked really, really shitty before, in my opinion, and this actually looks quite a bit better. I am very, very pleased with the way my room has been looking lately, and I don't know, maybe you will be too. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video as I quick... Oh, actually, there's a couple more things I have to show you. Um, that little door over there, that goes onto the desk. I've not decided because there was a part missing that I couldn't put the drawer together so I haven't quite decided what I'm gonna do with that um, I don't know I'll probably just glue it but the last thing I wanted to show you guys was obviously my little Star Wars collection uh, pop vinyl collection that I have going on right now I have quite a few of them but I am trying to make my collection bigger over time uh, but that's gonna do it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and click that thumbs up button it really does help and uh, yeah I'll catch you guys on the next one